Monkey Tales. The Eagle and the Crow by Monkey Tales. In the heart of a vibrant forest, a small, feathery creature named Charles, the Crow, lived among the trees. Charles loved to observe the world and dreamed of soaring high in the sky, like the eagles he saw. One sunny day, as Charles perched on a sturdy oak branch, he saw Edna the eagle elegantly glide across the open sky. Fascinated by her graceful flight, Charles's heart fluttered with the aspiration to fly as beautifully as Edna and hold a small animal in his claws. Then he saw Edna swoop down and took a medium-sized lamb in her talons and made off with it to her nest. On seeing this Charles the crow had a very silly idea in his mind that he could also do the same as Edna the eagle. He daydreamed to himself, oh, how I wish to be like Edna, soaring with grace and confidence in the sky and lifting lambs so high. I want to fly high and touch the clouds. That evening, Charles flew down from the tree branch to look for a prey. As he descended, the small lamb ran away, leaving only a large ram. Yes, I want this big one, I am just as strong as any eagle, he said. Charles rested on the back of the ram. He was so light that the ram barely noticed him. But when Charles tried to lift the ram, he couldn't. His claws were tangled in the ram's wool. Attempting to lift the ram again, he failed, resulting in a great squawk. The ram shook his back until Charles was freed. What a funny bird, the lamb said, laughing. What do you call it dad? That is a crow, my lamb. But if you should ask him, he would say he's an eagle. Edna noticed Charles's gaze and gently landed beside him, saying, Hey Charles, are you admiring the sky? Charles looked up at Edna with sparkling eyes and shared his dream. Yes, I wish I could fly like you Edna, high above the trees and hold a baby lamb in my claws. Edna laughed and kindly responded, you're remarkable just as you are Charles. Embrace your skills, and you'll discover your unique way to fly and hold an animal with your claws. Though her words comforted him, Charles's desire to soar like an eagle didn't disappear. One afternoon, he stumbled upon an old abandoned small kite tangled in a tree branch. Inspired by Edna's words, he took the kite and began practicing. As he flapped his wings, pulling the small kite along with his claws, look Edna I'm flying with the kite and I'm flying higher than before. Charles said excitedly. You found your way Charles you're soaring high. Edna smiled. Charles grinned back. Edna gracefully flew beside him, guiding him through the skies. Thank you Edna, said Charles. I've learned that my way of flying and holding objects is just as wonderful. Absolutely Charles every creature has their special way of shining, Edna encourages Charles. Charles realized that even though he couldn't fly as an eagle or hold heavy animals in his claws, he had found his unique way to soar. He cherished his newfound joy and understood that being true to himself was the key to happiness. And so Charles the Crow embraced himself, discovering that each creature's uniqueness is what makes the world a beautifully diverse place. Moral of the story, every creature has its unique strengths and abilities. Embrace yourself and shine in your special way. Monkey Tales